be near a TV set tomorrow, which you probably will be. Uh, I want to pass along this bit of information because this is this is a really big deal. And uh, if you're watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade tomorrow, be on the lookout for a CMU grad, Central Methodist University grad from Fayette, Missouri, Michael Mashmeyer. Uh, his wife and I are longtime friends. And uh, anyway, uh, Michael will be marching with the East Coast Marine Corps Composite Band. Okay? So if you see the East Coast Marine Corps Composite Band uh, in the 87th Annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, uh, you, of course, you probably won't recognize uh, Mr. Mashmeyer. I probably won't recognize him either. But uh, he'll be in that parade tomorrow. So when you see him, you'll know that he knows of me. And, well, there's the connection. But anyway, I always love to see uh, what uh, alumni from my college alma mater are up to. And, uh, well, there you go. Okay, so looking for Mr. Michael Mashmeyer in tomorrow's Thanksgiving Parade. I believe that's broadcast on NBC. Is that correct? I can't remember. Or is it CBS? I'm not sure which network carries it. I'm sure I'll find it tomorrow morning. Probably have it on the TV guide portion of the program later on. So, uh Anyway, we'll have details on that hopefully a little bit later on in the show. I forgot to look up the network. I saw a preview for it last night on television. I'm pretty sure it's on CBS because that's what I was watching in prime time uh, from 7 to 8 while I was doing my live show. Yeah, I'm not even listening to my own show half the time. Well, listen, I already heard the podcast, the old shows that I was running, but uh, uh, but I did watch uh, Top Gear last night, and they had their... Uh, I believe it was season four finale or something like that. I think it was season four. But the show was hysterical. Um, especially with the old guy in the Corvette driving. That that was hilarious. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, getting back to Thanksgiving, because this is a Thanksgiving-themed episode of uh, First Cup, and uh, this year's Thanksgiving is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Uh, in case you haven't heard... Hanukkah and Thanksgiving happened to coincide, I think for, probably for the first time in history, but um, because they won't occur again for another 76,000 years. 76,000 years! I don't know about you, but short of cryogenic freezing or uh, time travel, I don't think I'll be alive in 76,000 years. But it would be nice to know if this program uh, survives that long. And that uh, people in 76,000 years from now will be able to speak our language. Well, Thanksgiving uh, and uh, Hanukkah give uh, birth to a new term, new holiday called Thanksgivica. Uh, oh, that's going to be a difficult one to say. Thanksgivica is a mashup of Thanksgiving and the Jewish holiday Hanukkah. And this year is the only, the second time it's happened since the creation of Thanksgiving in 1863. So it has happened before, but none of our lifetimes. While well, holidays rarely match up because uh, Thanksgiving is based on the Gregorian calendar, which is followed by most of the world, and Hanukkah is based on the Hebrew calendar. Okay. Now, traditionally, Thanksgiving falls on the fourth Thursday in November, and Hanukkah falls between the 25th day of the month of... Uh, forgive me, my Jewish friends of the month uh, Kislev and the second or third day of the next month Tevet. Now the Hebrew calendar shifts one day from the Gregorian calendar about every 231 years. The last time the two holidays aligned was in 1888. President Lincoln established Thanksgiving as a national annual tradition in 1863 during the heart of the uh, American Civil War. But as the holiday draws closer as many people thinking, what uh, will the next Thanksgiving be like 760 centuries from now? Well, the biggest question is whether humans will still be here to celebrate. Uh, of course, that is a pretty big question to ask. Uh, Thanksgiving may be a twice-in-a-species event, not just once in a lifetime. Nevertheless, it is rare. Now, to give you some sort of uh, perspective on just how massive... Uh, that time frame is, humans discovered writing just a little more than 5,000 years ago. 5,000 years ago. For even more perspective, construction on the Great Pyramid of Giza 
began 4,597 years ago. But if we got out on a limb, or rather if we go out on a limb and say people still exist or have been replaced by alien life forms to celebrate uh, in our steed, we can say turkey or chicken might still be on the dinner table. While they have obvious physical differences, turkey and chicken are both part of the same biological family, which first appeared 30 million years ago, according to the National History Museum of Los Angeles County. But I survived Thanksgiving a t-shirt. You won't uh, probably survive the weight. Cotton deteriorates pretty fast if it's left out in the open, which chances are about 98% of those t-shirts will probably not be around in 10 years. Now, according to the National Park Service, cotton de decomposes in one to five months, and we don't think your closet will survive 76,000 years. Now, the oldest building in the world is located in France, and it's a grave. In fact, if we all died on Thanksgiving, maybe of too much food, some of the only man-made objects left for the next one might be made of glass. According to the EPA, plastic bottles take about 450 years to decompose, while glass bottles take a whopping 1 million years. So 760 centuries, no big deal in that regard. And who knows about the weather? We're still in the middle of an ice age, according to scientists, but it varies in intensity. According to Professor Kirk uh, Mash with the uh, University of Maine, our last cooling period was at its height 20,000 years ago. The planet's been warming up since then, but there's no telling when it will go back into the deep freeze. Although the way the weather is feeling today, I think we're well and back into our deep freeze now. With that being said, one thing that won't change is Polaris. That's the uh, North Star, or rather it will have swung back around for the third time to be the star directly over the North Pole. The Earth goes through a complete cycle of North Stars roughly every 25,800 years, according to a University of Michigan press release. Long story short, don't expect to catch the next Thanksgiving Cup. According to Ancestry.com, the average human generation is 25 years. That's at least 3,040 offspring in order before the next Thanksgiving Cup. Now, if you bury your time capsule now, maybe you'll win the impossibility lottery and uh, someone will open it just in time for the third Thanksgiving Cup. Meanwhile, our best advice is just to enjoy the camaraderie of family and friends, eat lots of turkey and matzo, and ignore your Thanksgiving Cup planning in favor of Christmas Cup, which is on December 25th, 2016. So that's coming up in a little over three years. And that is all you need to know about Thanksgiving Cup at this point, and that's all I've got on it right now. Some other interesting things on this program. Uh, first of all, I wish to remind you that, uh, of course, many people will be traveling to visit loved ones this Thanksgiving holiday. And the American Red Cross has a few travel tips for holiday travelers to arrive safely at their destination. So if you're out on the road, uh, arrive safely. The Red Cross recommends uh, these safety tips for travelers who uh, will drive to visit their loved ones this Thanksgiving weekend. Make sure the vehicle is in good working order. Start out with a full tank of gas. Check the tire pressure, tire air pressure. Make sure the windshield uh, fluid is full. Buckle up, slow down, don't drive impaired, and designate a driver who won't drink. Be well rested and alert. Use caution in work zones. Give one's full attention to the road. Avoid distractions such as cell phones. Observe the speed limits. Make frequent stops. Be respectful of other motorists and follow the rules of the road. You all know this, but it helps to go over it. Uh, don't follow another vehicle too closely. Clean the vehicle's headlights, taillights, signal lights, and windows. Turn the headlights on at dusk as uh, dusk approaches, or if using windshield wipers due to inclement weather. For example, in Missouri, it is law, so if it's cloudy tomorrow and looks like it could rain or snow, turn on your headlights. No big deal there. Uh, don't overdrive the headlights. Now, if the car trouble does develop, pull off the road as far as possible, and it's also recommended to keep an emergency preparedness kit in the vehicle. Useful items include water, snacks, flashlight, first aid kit, extra cash, and blankets. Red Cross emergency preparedness kits are also available at your local Red Cross stores. Okay. Now, if you're traveling on uh, public uh, transportation like trains, planes, buses, uh, 
The Red Cross reminds you that the seasonal flu can occur as early as October. Of course, we're approaching December right now. But if you uh, come into contact with someone who is sick, perhaps the trip should be postponed as they may be contagious for a week before symptoms appear. Now, other tips to avoid the flu while traveling include remember that everything someone touches has to be touched by someone else, luggage handlers, etc. Now, handles one, uh, handle one's own belongings as much as possible. Wash hands often with soap and water. Carry hand sanitizer and bacterial, antibacterial wipes and use them to wash hands or wipe down surfaces such as armrest. Bring one's own pillows and blankets. Uh, they can act as a shield against the seat itself. And if someone has to cough or sneeze, do so into a tissue or sleeve. Avoid touching the face or eyes. Okay, just some things to keep in mind as we roll on on this uh, Thanksgiving weekend. We'll have some more safety tips and so forth coming up in the program in just a little bit. And when we come back, well, let's see. What do I have for you? I'll have news headlines. We'll start off with that. Normally, I'd have trends. I'll have a few trends and things for you. But uh, we'll continue on with that theme right after these quick safety messages and so forth. You're listening to First Cup. I'm the babbling fool known as as Joe Hafner. What's this? A piece of toast? A pretzel stick? Popcorn? What blockhead cooked all this? Of course, all my relatives will be over for Thanksgiving dinner. I know they will. They're circling over the house now. Turkey here to talk to you a little about Thanksgiving safety. I obviously have some safety issues of my own, but you can make your Thanksgiving a happy holiday. According to the U.S. Fire Administration, risk of home cooking fires doubles on Thanksgiving Day. So, cook with safety in mind, just like you do every other day. The turkey needs to be cooked immediately after defrosting, and all parts need to reach at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit including the stuffing, oh my. The most common cause of choking is talking while eating. The Red Cross recommends the five and five method of choking help. Leftovers need to be put away within two hours after serving. If they are going to be eaten within three days, put them in the refrigerator. Otherwise, put them in the freezer. We can really give thanks if everyone but me is safe this holiday. Stay safe, Fort Carson. I'm so glad we left that stupid party. No joke. Hey, baby, are you an overdue library book? Because you got fine written all over you. Oh, barf. <laughs> what about that girl with the hoop earrings? Ridiculous. When she was dancing... Megan, I'm... look out. Look out! Uh, oh. oh, my God. Becky. Becky, are you okay? My arm. I think it's broken. Can you bend it? It's already bent in the wrong direction. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Really? Just buzzed? Yeah, I swear. Well, in that case, my arm is fine. Ah, that's better. You're really okay? You're serious, Becky? No, genius. I'm not serious. Ow! My arm, it hurts. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, the Ad Council, and this station. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. Evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This whole world could 